Hello and welcome to Tech Tips from CMMXYZ.com. Today we're going to discuss the exact measure GDNT enhancements in PC Demos 2018 R2. The first thing you'll notice when you open up the GDNT window, how it's completely different. It's still very similar in functionality, but some things have been tweaked, so let's go through the basics on how to get through and design your own uh, feature control frame. We'll use the example of true position. Right off the bat, you can see the entire window is designed from the ground up. You have your feature control frame tab, which is what we're looking at right now, which lists your features and your ability to build your feature control frame. We also have a reporting tab, which specifies what you want to put in your report when it comes to analysis and units. And coming down the road, there will be another tab once we're done building our feature control frame. So let's go back and build this guy. Now, the first thing you need to do is define your datums. And on this screen, you don't see a spot that says define datums. Well, this little plus here means I want to add a datum to my feature control frame. If none are currently associated with a feature, it will open up your datum definition window. One of the nice enhancements with this window, we can resize it finally. So if you have features that go so far off the screen, you can now resize and you don't have to scroll through lists of features. So for my data A, I want to assign it to my plane and create. This process is virtually identical. Data C, create. Now I also have a D I want to associate. I'm just not going to do it right now. I'll show you how to do it later. We'll close this window. Now, all the datums are now in my edit window. And next time I hit the plus, it's going to add a datum to my list. If it's not the datum you want, as before, single click to select, pull down, choose the one you're interested in. So at this point in time, I'm fine with A. And I click the plus, then I click the plus, and I realize, oh, I want circle D to be one of my datums, and I forgot to design them, and he's not in this list. So if I want to put circle D in here, I have to define the datum. Well, how do I do it now that I've defined datums? Select any of the datums that are in your feature control frame, click the pull down, and here's the plus to define datums some more. So I can choose D, circle D, create. When I close that, I can now select D from the list and change this back to B because that's my axis. Now, if you're defining a composite true position, you have your over under controls. Click the plus down here to add the one below. Now we have the option for composite if we want to build it together. Once you select the first feature you want to put into this true position callout, it will leave every feature of same size in the list. It gives you the options to start specifying your dimensions and tolerances. And now we have a new tab called nominals. When I click on the nominals tab, this is the spot where I can tweak the numbers for my basic dimensions. You can multi-select the features like you can before. And then you can specify the tolerances as you go along. And the one nice thing I like about this version, it doesn't start complaining that you're doing things out of sequence because certain tolerances aren't set yet. Create, close, and now when we view our report, we now have all our diameters together, true positions, and all our basic dimensions listed. So that is the basics behind the new GD&T feature control frame in PCDMS 2018 R2. My name is Stuart Burke. Thank you for listening.